your own license which um is supporting windows desktop os on the virtual machines for cloud robots that um you can provision your vms on today this is a feature that's live on uh, uh that's already in ga um and you can see it in your um in your cloud portal directly um what it does essentially is so far and in your orchestrator within the tenant if you navigate over to machines and try to add a cloud robot um for both um automatic pool and manual pool um while you're provisioning the runtime and machine details you would now observe that in the machine image that we provide you have an additional tab of windows desktop so far we were supporting windows server itself and had a standard image which had our ui path software so essentially robot assistant and uh, ui path studio along with the supported browser that was provisioned on top of windows server 2019 as the os now going forward you'll have support for windows desktop as well um we provide a standard image with the similar set of softwares um which is ui path robot assistant and studio but now they are built on top of windows um desktop os um and what you want what you need to note essentially here is while we provide support for this and we'll spin up the vm on top of your the a windows desktop os um when you're trying to configure um you would notice a pop up where at this point we expect the users to carry their own desktop license and uh, confirm to us that they possess the required number of license which uh, which we today do not ask explicitly so we're not requesting that you provide the license codes or something but this will this particular confirmation where you're expected to enter the name of your tenant to confirm confirms that you you basically attest that you have the required eligible licenses and in case of any future edit um uh, audit apologies you would be okay providing that and any other required information to ui path so as you'll notice we are supporting creation of the machine on top of a uh, desktop os as uh, uh, as the base um but we are hoping the user and we are expecting the users to have their own desktop os license for us to do that so as soon as you uh, confirm the name of the tenant and create your machine um will be provisioned to create and you can create your um base image on top of the um the desktop os that you uh, that you have